always like to look at Helen Frankenthaler, Rothko, Rauschenberg, um, a lot of those artists that play with texture and um, opacity of the paint and color. This summer I've continued to explore um, a journal-like quality in my work using traditionally um, feminine craft techniques like sewing and quilting so my work has reference to those things but in a very new and rough sort of way. The painting of a portrait that um, you know is something that you put time into and that is viewed as somewhat precious then I ripped the portrait into two pieces to use two different um, to use in two different panels of the painting. One thing I've been learning and that I played with a lot in this piece is not being afraid to um, tear something apart or start over if I don't like it and so that's really inform the way that I've made my work this summer. I'll paint, I'll cut, I'll tear it up. Even if I have a final piece, if I don't like it, then I'll just take the parts of it that I like and use it in a later piece. A lot of the times in my work sort of interested in that cross-section of Eastern and Western, probably because of my own experience of being a Western woman married to an Eastern man. In Asian culture, um, it's the Khoisan image that's used in a lot of traditional art, but also has become really popular in tattoo art also. And so a lot of the times if people will tattoo a Khoi um, going upward, on the body, it means that they are still going through some of their great struggle in life, but if it's going downstream, it seems it's a symbol of having overcome that struggle already.